Hey, before this video starts, I just want to say, if you like this content, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want a video of your own, make sure to commission me either when I'm live on YouTube or you can DM me through my public Discord server. Anyway, let me not take up your time. Enjoy the video. The door is open. Thank you for coming at such a short notice. There's something that we need to talk about. No, you're not in trouble, don't worry. Please, have a seat. Well, besides everything going on right now, I've noticed you have been gaining popularity. No, 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 I don't want you to join my agency. You're a teacher, and you take it away your job, basically, just to join my agency would be ridiculous. No, I brought you here because I needed to tell you about something. Besides your popularity skyrocketing as of recently, I've also have noticed that there's been a slight increase of villains popping out of nowhere. You see. There is this, um, new organization, per se. That's been popping up around the mid-city. And they've been leaving post-its. Well, post-its aren't really the word I should be using. They're more like leaving signs. Yes, signs. From what I notice, every time that this new organization of villains attack, they leave a symbol behind. Mm hmm. I have no idea what their ideals are or what they want. Either it be recognition or they are trying to get caught. Still. They're still trying to influence, which is bad. Because where they're robbing is around a bunch of, uh, innocent civilians. Let's, um, I think the last time they robbed some place, they robbed a bank. And once the bank was empty... They plastered their symbol all on the building, right on the side of it, for everyone to see. And before they left, I think one of the villains that were there announced something to them. Something about recruitment. Something about that they're growing every single day, and they need more help. Yes, it does sound bad, but I have almost every single pro hero looking around the streets trying to find these so-called villains and their organization, try to bring them in and talk to them, see what type of information that we can get out of them. Mm-hmm. What does that have to do with you being popular? Well, I'm just... worried that they might come after you. Seeing that your popularity is growing by the day, these villains might catch an eye for you. And if they do, they'll come after you, trying to gain their reputation. And they might hurt you, or worse.
I'm just looking out for you. Don't worry, we have everyone out today. I just called you in so I could tell you this. <sighs> what is it with these villains? I'm trying to start new organizations as soon as one falls. They're so... <sighs> it makes me wonder why all these villains are like they are. Using the public as their own way to grow their popularity, grow their damn organization, makes me question why everything is going the way it is. Hmm? Undercover work. Well, I haven't really thought about that. Never really thought of putting a hero out on undercover work to try to join their organization. But it doesn't sound like a horrible idea. But what if that hero gets caught? It's not that simple. If a hero gets caught going under an undercover mission, and then gets overpowered by the number that is there, then that wouldn't end good for the hero. It is a quite a risky job to do, but we'll have to hire someone who's really good at blending in. Mm. But who would that be? What? Listen, I understand that you are a pro-hero. But you are just a teacher. I don't want to put someone out there with, no offense, less experience than a field worker. I just don't want to put your life in danger. I've done that way too many times already. I've done that oh so way too many times. To many people that I call my family and my friends. I don't want to lose another hero. No. <sighs> If I want you to be a field hero, I'll have to have you be with someone else as well. Because I don't want you to be going out there alone. We would have to have you team up with another hero. One that hasn't been seen around in the public for a while. Possibly gentle criminal. But I'm not too sure about him yet. Sure that he helped us throughout all that fighting with Shigaraki. But I still don't trust him quite yet. Yes, I know. Gentle Criminal was the only one that was able to keep Yue High afloat while everyone else was trying to fight. I do understand that. And I did thank him for his courageous work. But he's still a criminal nonetheless. I'll have to see if I could get him enrolled into, you know, becoming a hero. And alongside with his little sidekick, La Brava. But, uh, it's gonna be a lot of paperwork. 
so... I'll, I'll get back to you once I have everything all set up and whatnot. Are you 100% sure that you want to do this? Alright. I'll make sure to get everything set up. Mm-hmm. All right, you can leave now. Sending another pro hero with this rookie hero to be undercover. What was I thinking? What am I thinking? And to have a gentle criminal next to them. Who knows what's gonna happen?